Wow, gosh. Oh, they're here. Sony GDM section. Look at that big boy. Cyberpunk CRT for sure. Well, you know it's impressive when your moving box pile is almost twice as big as a 36 inch JVC D series CRT. Bob, I need you to come get this thing. I need some room in my house. Oh man, too many PVMs, baby. Oh, there's definitely a couple CRTs down here in this area. Stupid. 1943 bezel. What do you think, Brutus? Is that a hard move? You ready to relax a little bit? Getting cozy in the new place? Yeah, good boy. Can you help me? I've lost my flute. Well, that wasn't stressful at all. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome here, and let me introduce you to the brand new Retro Tech. Uh, things are really happening around here. I've got my move well underway and, and pretty much completed. I've already gotten everything out of my Tennessee location, and now I'm finally here in my Virginia location. And I've gone through and worked really hard to get a lot of my areas done, especially some of my new bee footage areas and other live stream areas and, and talking areas that I've got set up in my new studio area. But then I still have a lot of work to do back here in the shop area where I'm setting up to do all the CRT repair work. And I know I promise I've not been thrown in jail or anything, even though it looks like I'm stuck in a concrete cell or something. I am in a lovely basement and surrounded by nothing but warm and fuzzy CRTs, so just the way I like it. But from down here, I'll be able to service and uh, show you different repairs and things. Much, It'll be much easier for me. I won't have to move things around as much as I did before in the old shop. We did have some accidents in our move. The 1943 bezel did not survive. It got cracked and a couple of pieces broke off. I do have all the pieces so maybe we can re-epoxy that together like I did in that other video where I just had to fix the corner of another 1943 MD. And so that one got damaged. I haven't seen really anything else from the entire move that was damaged. So all in all that's pretty good. That was a monitor I got at scrap prices anyway because of the plastic again it's very hard to invest in those 1943 models when you can have the plastic just almost disintegrate in your hands at this point so I saw where Bob from retro RGB is also moving and he's moved to the suburbs so congratulations Bob welcome out to the burbs and definitely please come get your 36 inch D series monster I cannot lift that thing around the house anymore it's got to go uh, it's not making it down to my basement. It's going to be sitting up in my garage until Bob gets to come get it. So I'll be looking for you, Bob, in that massive uh, delivery truck you'll have to come pick it up in or U-Haul or something. Anyway, that's just a quick rundown of the way things have been going. Hopefully over the next couple weeks, I'll get things up and running in the shop. I'll have some other things going in different areas. And hopefully this is all just going to improve the quality of not only the show, but the repairs and everything involved and i definitely appreciate everybody who's been you know supporting the channel up to this point i'm getting things especially ready to really get going and get some patreon members repairs done who've been patiently waiting for me to get all this done but guys i promise i have not stopped over the last 14 days straight i've been counting i've worked at least 15 hours uh, well that's about an average of how long i've worked each day and so i'm trying to get all this finished up by uh the end of August for an early September uh, kind of grand opening and I'll be able to show you guys even more of the set here 
and the amazing adventures of myself and Brutus and the rest of the RetroTech team, which maybe you'll be meeting some new members here soon. Uh, I'm excited to bring all this to you and thank you again for your time. Your feedback is always appreciated. So if you want to check out more information, I do have a link in the description on Patreon and repairs, but you can also just like the video if you enjoy it and leave a comment below. And I will see you all next time with some more retro content. Hey Brutus, you sure look like you're getting cozy there. Yeah, is this your new favorite section of the Retro Tech studio? And being the new Retro Chill Corner? Yeah, I don't blame you. We got our buddies Rick Flair and the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. And of course, why not? 1960s Frigidaire. Working refrigerator, Brutus. Would you like a cold one? Hmm. I think I would. Good stuff here. <laughs>